What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Element. I'm Flip. And we get together every Sunday to talk about our favorite TV shows, movies, and everything pop culture this week. Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix. The conclusion of X-Men. So, obviously, mm -hmm. it's over. Mm -hmm. It's over. Uh, I went into this movie with the lowest of expectations, and I particularly wanted to see this movie out of solidarity. X-Men has played such a huge role in our consumption of superhero movies. It started with the first X-Men, mm -hmm. uh, then it went on to X2, and then this whole wave of superhero movies just came out of nowhere. It's safe to say we probably wouldn't be anywhere close to where we are today without the first X-Men. I agree. And I so, mean... <laughs> and so I thought it would be apropos to kind of send this series off, you know, it's over, it's back in Marvel, and they're gonna reboot it, and we're gonna get a new X-Men. Mm -hmm. uh, but I still thought we had to see this and kind of like, see it through, you know, yeah. finish it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it the whole superhero movie and the whole landscape of superhero movies really got kicked off by the X-Men. You know, that's when you got to know uh, Hugh Jackman becoming bigger and bigger as Wolverine. And then all of a sudden the Marvel Cinematic Universe came in and exploded. Yes. And the one thing I can appreciate about the X-Men series are just their practical approach to a superhero movie, uh, you know, kind of just being integrated into kind of a realistic environment or a realistic setting. And that yeah. has always been the consistency of the X-Men universe. Of course, they're done by Fox and they do it in that manner. It could almost go between PG-13 and a rated R kind of rating. Yeah. But uh, that's always been the kind of tone that they've set for this universe. Now we're just like all spoiled by this epic grand spectacle that the MC universe, yes. you know, provides us. And when you go back and after you're watching Endgame and Infinity War, all of those Marvel movies, nothing seems as nothing epic. seems as epic. Yeah, but that's always been the consistency of the X Men. Yeah, the X Men has always been a more intimate kind of character-driven drama yep. story, and so what I appreciated about this movie is the performances we get from the actors. Now, a lot of the movies have been hit or miss. You know, you have your kind of outliers, which mm. is the first X-Men, X2. You have Days of Future Past, and then you have Logan. You know, a lot of these movies, and Deadpool, of course. Wolverine. Yeah, and so a lot of these movies have been kind of hit or miss, but in, in just like the general concept of the X-Men movies, they've always been very grounded. Mm -hmm. uh, and I want to give a shout out to Sophie Turner. Oh, uh, very good. James very good. McAvoy and, and, and uh, Michael Fassbender for delivering. Again, like if there's anything solidly concrete to say that's good about this movie is that mm -hmm. they deliver on their performances. You can feel uh, Jean Grey's inner turmoil and you can feel uh, Charles Xavier going through this like kind of guilt mm -hmm. about what he's done in the past and you can obviously f always feel Eric Lencher's like deep deep rooted pain and and, and, and turmoil of his past mm -hmm. and I think like their performances really kind of saved this movie to be honest with mm -hmm. you guys like uh, this movie had its hits and misses, a lot of misses, like more misses than hits. But the one thing you can count on is that Hans Zimmer, his score and his music really, really propels this movie beyond what it would have been yeah. without him. You know, on top of the performances of obviously Fassbender, McAvoy and Sophie Turner, uh, those guys really just killed it. And I yeah. totally agree with you, but I think it would have been really, really bad if it wasn't for Hans Zimmer. I, th yeah. I feel like Hans Zimmer saved this movie because it, it definitely was... played its role when you're yes. trying to kind of invoke feelings. But of course, when that soundtrack starts playing and you start invoking these feelings and then it ends up not getting paid off on the screen mm. in terms of action, then you're kind of like, wow, that was a little bit of a letdown, you yep. know? Uh, the third act of the movie was actually not that bad. It was it very enjoyable. It was actually enjoyable, pretty good. It was great. Very epic in that regard. That was when the graphic effects really stood out to me. It yeah. really shined. 
and like what you're used to all the MCU universe movies like there's a lot of heavy special graphic effects but for this one they really did rely on a lot of practicality in terms of effects yeah and one thing that Fox always got right even though they're writing throughout this entire saga of Fox X-Men movies has been you know kind of lackluster yeah they always got the power sets right when they're used in tandem with each mm -hmm. other as the x-men you know as a team right mm -hmm. we we have we're used to this kind of like this this standard with mcu where everyone's just kind of flying everywhere and mm -hmm. and delivering like these epic one-two punches but the x-men has always been like these calculated precise approaches to using their their uh, abilities together mm -hmm. as a team yeah like i think it's because because of that consistency of it being grounded, you're not expecting like this big epic scale of super powered mutants or super powered superheroes. If I was uh, Cyclops, <laughs> you'd be like, you'd be taking down satellites out of orbit. That's just my take on what it might be on the MCU. <laughs> but in any case, I think we all have different takes on what this movie did to us. Um, what did you think of this movie? What, what would you grade it as? Um, I would probably grade it a solid B. B. Okay. Yeah, because you know, at the end of the day, it was over mm -hmm. with this with this franchise, and I knew that, and I went in there, you know, as I said, out of solidarity. Let's just see it through. Yeah. Um, but you know, I ended up walking out not disappointed. You okay. know, I was I was I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. I enjoyed their performances. Mm -hmm. I didn't walk out of there mad. I wasn't like, oh my god, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so that, that deserves a solid B for me. What yeah. about you? I definitely think that the send-off really affected the way I felt about this movie. And I was going to give it a very low grade, but I ended up just... just going with a B minus. At the end of the day, guys, this franchise is over. It's gonna get rebooted. It's back at Marvel now, and we just have to wait to see what they're going to do with the X-Men from now Ooh, on. I can't wait. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's over and that's it. Don't expect to see end game level, like payoffs, mm -hmm. you know, just kind of go in for the thrill of it and just finish the story and send off the Foxmen. Guys, if you ended up seeing the movie, let us know what you thought of it in the comment section below and look forward to more videos from us. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like right now, I don't know where it is in my angle over here. Hit the bell notification too. Exactly. And we'll see you next time.